Shabbat Shalom and welcome to PowerPoints. I want to talk to you about the characteristic of meekness. Um, you know, I, we just got back from Israel and filming uh, the illumination series of the One New Man and uh, we went up around the Mount of Beatitudes to preach about the, uh, the attitudes that bring blessings. And one of the blessings is blessed are the meek. And it doesn't mean the weak, but it means those who are self-controlled. So when that translates out in the Greek, it meek means ones that will obey, those that have boundaries, those that have character of meekness, not weakness. It means those who have dealt with their anger. You know, it's interesting that the Lord will use different circumstances in your life to bring forth meekness. I'll, I'll just be transparent. What he did with me was the uh, airplane counters. I, I had so many different situations with airlines where they would um, just mess up. And it was messing up my schedule, messing up my money, my time. I mean, every area. And I would get angry. Sometimes I would manifest anger. Sometimes I would not manifest it and I was very meek and self-controlled, but inside I was raging. And the scripture says in Matthew 5 and 5, it says, Blessed are the gentle because they inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness because they will be filled. And so I realized that there is an area of the character of meekness that actually fills you within so that when... Um, when those things happen, that the Lord will fill you and you won't get angry. This last trip to Israel, uh, it took us almost three days to get home. And uh, we had a plane where it had to drop down from 30,000 feet to 10,000 because we lost pressure. We landed and we had to go back to Atlanta, got on another plane and it broke. And then about 1.30 in the morning, they send us to the hotel and then we have to come back early the next day and I can tell you that I never lost the meekness that God gave me and the Lord's healed me. Now, this has taken years, but you may not be in an airport once a week like me. You, you may not. It may be your boss at your job. I don't know where it is, but embrace that and say, Father God, I desire meekness up on and within. And on, on this Shabbat, if, if you can enter into that meekness to where things are bouncing off you, you're not a phony about it, but there's a real character of meekness. Father God, release that in us this Shabbat in Yeshua's name. Join us tonight, 745 at House of David on the One New Man Network. It will be powerful. There'll be impartation, revelation. There'll be healing. There'll be words of knowledge. There'll be a strong presence of Lord in the worship. So join us tonight, fellowship together, and bring an offering tonight. Go ahead. I know some of you have watched for years and, and uh, sow the offering. Be, be a part of what God is doing through Kurt Landry Ministries and House of David. Plant a tree with my olive tree. Do something proactive and watch the blessings release in your life. God bless you. We'll see you tonight. Shabbat Shalom.